Welcome to the Concepts of Faith broadcast. This program is dedicated to teaching you how to put the Word of God to work so that it will make a positive difference in the everyday circumstances of your life. Well, welcome to the Concepts of Faith program today. I am so excited. My name is Annette Caps, and I want to invite you to get a cup of coffee, maybe some tea, buy a cup of hot chocolate, and sit down with us today and join us because I believe that the Lord has a word for you today. My special guest today is Denise Renner, and we're going to have a conversation about uh, her, actually her new book, which is fascinating. It's unstoppable. And it says, pressing through fear, offense, and negative opinions to fulfill God's purpose. Well, this is going to be great today. Denise, welcome to the program. Annette, thank you for having me. I'm just honored that you invite me to be on your program. Oh, I am blessed that you're here because I started reading your book. And when I started reading it, and I, 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 I don't know if you can see or not, but I've got almost every page turned down. <laughs> anyway, I thought, oh, wow, that's so good. That's so good. But in any event, as I read it, I thought, you know, everybody needs to hear this. Everybody needs to hear this because I can't think of anybody that I've ever met that doesn't admit to feeling like either inferior, inadequate, or um, afraid of what everybody else thinks and trying to, to do things, live their life, and be who somebody else thinks they're supposed to be. Uh -oh. So that was what started me off. And because of that, I want to read a scripture to you today. And the scripture is in Psalm 139. And if you've got your cup of coffee, grab your Bible, okay? Get your Bible, maybe a pencil, <coughs> and um, make notes of what we're talking about today. And I just love this. I'm going to start with Psalm 139, okay. first two verses. And I'm reading out of the <clears throat> Amplified. It says, O oh Lord, you have searched me and have known me. You know my down-sitting and my uprising. You understand my thoughts afar off. You sift and search out my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all of my ways. And there is not a word in my tongue, O oh Lord, but that you know it all together. And then the psalmist comes on down and he says, now I, I could read all of this, but I want to talk about some of these things. So I'm going to jump down to verse 16. And the psalmist David says, your eyes saw my unformed substance mm -hmm. and in your book, all the days of my life were written before they ever took shape, when as yet there was none of them. God knows about your life. He knows about you. He knows everything about you. You know, Denise, when I first called you about your book, I said something. I thought, oh, I hope Denise didn't misunderstand what I said. I said, uh, it's okay to be different, isn't it? Yes, it is. It is okay to be different. Because we're all different. We're all different. Every one of us. That's the beauty of us, is that we're all different. What, you know, it, it would be really weird if, if everybody looked like me or everybody looked like you, if everybody talked like me with a, I don't know what my accent is anymore, a sort of uh, arky okey. <laughs> 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 Since I was born in Arkansas, I live in Oklahoma. And then you have the, the issue of uh, combining uh, English and wanting to speak Russian, yes, right? Yes, yes, sometimes. I mean, for those who don't know, uh, which is probably not a lot of people, but uh, Denise and her husband Rick and their family went to the former Soviet Union right when it broke up and established a marvelous work and have done tremendous things in the Soviet Union. So you would be 
like trying thinking Russian and trying to speak English or vice yeah. versa, I guess. Yes, so. like just a while ago, I wanted to say please, but in my mind was pajalista, the Russian <laughs> word, you know. But so I thought, oh, it's getting time to go back home because I'm wanting to speak they Russian. Wanting to speak Russian. Yeah. So. so anyway, I look at um, I look at the things that you you talk about in this book, and basically what you're saying is that, you know, we're all unique. We're all unique. We're all unique. And so. I don't know about you, but when I grew up, I had uh, people that tell me, you are really different. And that sort of was offensive to me in yeah. a way, because I'm like, that means what? That I'm wrong? Uh, or weird? Or weird. There's something wrong with me. Did anybody ever say those things to you? Yes, they did. They have said, uh, you're, you're kind of strange. <laughs> Or, it, because I usually am joyful, mm -hmm. they say, are you for real? And a lot of people th think that, or thought, that I'm not for real, that, I mean, I've been asked that so many times. Are you for real? Wow. <laughs> well, you know, I'm, I go back to sort of a few years ago when I was sitting in a service and you were up on the platform and it went on for hours. <laughs> and you were sitting up there. And so I was sitting there and I was watching you. And, and it was like, they, you know, the people who were speaking just droned on and on and on. <laughs> and I looked and some of the people were going, <laughs> some, somebody actually dropped off to sleep. Oh. And others were going, some were looking at their phone and everything. But I watched you, Denise. And you were sitting there and you were going, you were listening. <laughs> you were listening and paying attention. So I can understand from my perspective, because I was starting to feel like I'd like to get up and move around a little bit, uh -huh. but you look like you were really engrossed. But that's really you. You pay that close attention. Well, now, no, now, all the times oh. I've fallen asleep on my own husband. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. I know. Uh -oh. I have, though, you know, and that's just awful. At one time, I, because of jet lag, yeah. I was, of course, well, I'm on the front row, right. and I was falling asleep, and he said, Denise, you can go, <laughs> you can go. You can go out of the auditorium. It's okay. <laughs> oh, so, my goodness. No, so I haven't done it perfectly, but um, I do get engrossed in what's being said, the Word of God. When it's the Word, right. <laughs> so did you become that engrossed in the Word when you were dealing with uh, fear, offense, and no. negative opinions, did you become that engrossed in the Word of God that it just changed you? I mean, and that doesn't that draw us in when yeah. we are fighting fear or offense, and offense comes to all of us because that's what Jesus said. It's yeah. going to come to all of yeah. us. It's definitely come to me. And, and so I don't want to give in to evil. None of us do. If we love God, right. if we fear God, we want to please God. Yes. We, we don't want anything in us to displease Him. We want to honor Him. Yes. But, um, and so because fences do come, and they've definitely come to me, I dug as hard as I could into yeah. the Word of God. Because uh, when I got offended, when I got bitter, it was affecting my body. My, yes. My hands were painfully cold all the time for almost yeah. two years. My feet also. And I was having, it's like a vice was on my mind yes. of fear. And I would, I would wake up with fear and I would go to bed with fear. Really, it wasn't good. I even had panic attacks in that. I yeah. had three of them. I, I couldn't even believe. I thought, I'm a leader. I'm not supposed to be suffering like this. Yeah. And, um, but I did. And, and I said, God, I don't know what's going on. But I told him, because it was this one night sleepless nights, nothing had changed. I'm still in these terrible symptoms of painful uh, hands and feet and uh, vice on my mind and, and <laughs> really struggling. 
but trying to lead, trying to be joyful, trying to sing, all, all the things that we yeah. do, right? Yeah. And in the middle of the night, I remember taking a hold of the sink, and I said, Lord, I don't know what's going on with me, but I am not letting go of you. And I had a hold of that sink, and it was two weeks later that I heard God speak to me, and he said, he said, you're going to wake up tomorrow morning in a different world. And it was in that day before I woke up that next day that I was able to see that I had unforgiveness in my heart. See, I just thought my problem was the other person. I thought, yeah. I'm the angelic one, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm the one who never does anything wrong. And it's all this other person's problem affecting my life. Yeah. And when I saw from another perspective, Denise, you need to forgive. Isn't that powerful? Yes. You know, we can hear you need to forgive, but when the Holy Spirit reveals to us what needs to happen, yes. oh, that's powerful. Yes. And he said, you need to forgive. And I was able to verbalize forgiveness and release this person. And Annette, I went to bed. Just like the Lord yeah. said, I woke up the next morning. I was in a completely different world. Wow. Just like he said, my hands, my feet were absolutely normal. It was like he put his invisible hand down into my heart and he took out all the tentacles of bitterness yeah. and judgment and resentment and anger and, and bitterness. And, he, and he's like he went and just took them out like that. And I woke up the next morning truly in a different world. I was wow. completely, completely free. Wow. And you're, you know, when you talk about these sort of things, because there are people that have endured so many hurts in their oh. lives, right? And, and even starting out with uh, you being unique, a person who is different doesn't fit the the mm -hmm. the norm of this is how we behave act or or whatever and people have said ugly things to them oh you know and there's some people that are watching the program right now and you have had so many hurts in your life you've had opportunities for unforgiveness and you have pain in your life mm -hmm. and a lot of you've called our ministry and say i'm in terrible pain would you please pray for me and yes we pray for you but you know what i always ask people that are in pain in their body I asked them, are you in pain in your soul? Oh, that's very good. Are you in pain on the inside from something else? Because this is the thing, Denise, that you just said, such a truth, that fear, unforgiveness, bitterness, resentment, when people have said ugly things about you, when offense has come, if those stay inside it manifest in your physical physical body so yes. what i understand you just said is that after you forgave your body did something different totally i was delivered so does it make you want to ask people when they come up for fit, for healing are you right with god sometimes are you right with other people yeah sometimes and yet when i'm praying with people I just sense like the Holy Spirit showing me this person is sick because they're in unforgiveness. Now, not everybody is unforgiveness no, that has sickness, no, but no. that's a big one, isn't it? It does open the door. And even doctors say that bitterness, that it, it affects your body. It can bring sickness into your body. And so it's, if the Holy Spirit tells me, you need to ask this person, and, um, and I do, and they open up and they say, yes, I do. And, and, they, and they always know. It's not like, let me think. Oh, is there anybody that I might? <laughs> no. It usually goes, no. oh, yeah. No, they say, it's, yes, I it's do. It's front and center. I do. And, and releasing that because, you know, Annette, our bodies were not meant to carry bitterness and unforgiveness because Jesus said, come unto me, all ye that labor like heavy, oh. heavy laden. Yeah, because it's that stuff's heavy. Heavy, extremely heavy, and and it'll steal from your 
relationships. It'll steal from your future relationships. It, it will steal from your joy, your peace, your health. Oh, bitterness and unforgiveness. And, and the fact that Jesus gave us the, the Holy Spirit when we got born again, and mm -hmm. of course you know this, but when we got born again, Romans chapter 5, verse 5 says that, that the love of God, the very love of God, the same love that God has for Jesus, that same love came into your heart when you got born again. So when, when God says, if you don't forgive, I won't forgive you, that's what Jesus said. He, he's not being unfair because he equipped us by the Spirit with the very love of God that you and I need to release that person. You have exactly, from the Spirit of God, when you got born again, you have exactly what you need to release anyone from any offense yes. that's come against you. Yes, yes, amen. You, you know, when you're, you're talking about that, I'm reminded of the scripture. It says, the love of God is shed abroad in our heart by the Holy Ghost, yes. by the Holy Spirit. Yes. So if you're born again, you have the ability to forgive and let go. You have the ability. You have the ability. And so I always I seem to bring Brother Hagen up, but you know, he's our spiritual father, my, my family, because that's how we came into the Word. But he was talking about a woman that came to him one time, and she said, she said, I, I need to t counsel with you. And he said, well, what, what is it? And she said, I hate my mother-in-law. And this was a pastor's wife. Oh. It touches all of us. It does. That, that's why I had to think when you said, you know, I'm a minister. I shouldn't be experiencing these things. We are no different than every person in the viewing that's audience right. that and is yes, a believer. That's exactly We experience the same things you do, and we have to deal with it. So Brother Hagen said, you don't hate her. Yes, I do hate her. He said, just hold on a minute. He said, I want you to close your eyes and pay attention right down here. Oh. And I want you to say, I hate my mother-in-law. So she closed her eyes and she said, I hate my mother-in-law. And he said, what happened down here? She said, well, it seems like something's just scratching around down there. He said, that's the Holy Spirit telling you that you don't hate your mother-in-law. You have let things offend you in the emotional and mental realm. But on the inside, down here, where Jesus is, where the Holy Spirit dwells, you do not hate. You do not hate because John tells us that if you're born of the Spirit, you do not hate. You have love in your heart. So what happens? You opened your heart by saying, I forgive, to the love that's really in there. And you know what's the hardest thing to do? Now you tell me, that maybe I'm wrong. Yeah. The hardest thing to do is open your mouth and say, I forgive. I let it go. I let it go. See, because the devil wants to not to say it. Mm -hmm. Because what I found out is that you have to forgive by faith. Mm -hmm. If 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 you <laughs> right. I mean that's what faith is for when Jesus was talking to his disciples about forgiving somebody 70 times 70. They said, Lord, increase our faith. <laughs> he did. He did. <laughs> increase our faith. Forgiveness is by faith. So it doesn't mean you've got to feel it before you say it. You say it and then you feel it eventually. Is that what happened to you? Did you, did you say, I forgive? Did you speak the words, Lord, I forgive? I did say the words. I did say the words. Did you have an instantaneous reaction? I mean, is everybody's different, or did it just take a period of time before you, that freedom that you're talking about just came? Mine was, in, mine was release them, release this person, go to bed, wake up totally delivered. Wow. That was mine. Wow. That, I believe that miracle's waiting for some <laughs> other people out there. Unfortunately, my experience has been, I've had to say, I forgive by faith in the name of Jesus. I determine, because it's a decision. It is a decision. God didn't say, God didn't forgive them, you know, on your behalf. You had to, ma I'm supposing you made the decision yourself. Well, you know, every day I was choosing him. He knew that, but I just didn't know. He had to 
reveal to me what was inside of my heart. And I think, you know, when you see from God's perspective, it, it's actually aligning ourselves with this truth. It's not, it's not, okay, I mentally give assent that I have unforgiveness. Well, that's a, a beginning. Well, right. But the Holy Spirit and, and our mind and our emotions agreeing with Him, now that's aligning ourselves with Him. And that's yes. where the power comes. Yes, yes. There's no argument anymore. So if you were aligning yourself with the Holy Spirit, you were aligning yourself with love. I was. I was, and love delivered me. I was delivered. I was delivered. Have I had to forgive since then? Of course I've had to forgive <laughs> since then. Many yeah, times. Me too. Many times. And it, and probably you that are listening, you're probably going to have to forgive again because we live in an imperfect world and we're imperfect people. And many times we wound one another, not even meaning to. Yeah, we, you know, I've said things before that other people said that really hurt my feelings. I, I, I didn't do it on purpose. I know. I, I was coming from a different angle. It yeah. was not meant yes. to hurt anyone. Yes. And so communication get mixed up, but that's kind of where I see it comes to discipline my mind. And I, I have some teaching on this about disciplining your mind. Mm -hmm. When those thoughts come, it says, well, they said that because blah, blah, blah. We don't know why they said that because. Mm -mm. We don't know what was in their heart. Mm -mm. And so I, when the, and the enemy is the father of all lies, right? Yes, he is. And what yes, does he want he to do? He wants, he wants to lie to us. And kill, steal, and destroy. And that's what the result is, because it, it caused your hands to oh, yeah. be cold all the time. Oh, yeah. it, it started destroying your body. It did. And yeah. so if we believe a lie, mm. then it gives it a seed in our body to manifest in all different things. If we believe the word, I choose to believe love. If we choose to believe what 1 Corinthians 13 says, love believes the best mm. of every person. Oh. So some things you can listen and hear and go, okay, <clears throat> well, I know that wasn't love, but let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> but some things it's like, no, I choose to believe the best of that person and that they, uh, what the in devil's telling me in my mind that they did or said or whatever, I choose not to believe that. Yes. And so, regardless, I choose to believe on the love that's inside me. Yes. And you know, Annette, judgment, when, we, when we're offended, judgment just has a voice. That oh. part, it's like, you know, it's like putting on different glasses. Like, before that person hurt you, before you were offended, oh, well, praise God, hallelujah, that's the best person. Oh, I love her. Oh, I love him. Everything's good. And then you get offended, and it's like you put on different glasses. And now everything that they do, you're like, mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I know why they did that. Yeah. I know why she said that. Yeah. I know why he acted like that. Yeah. And it might be on the inside. You might not even say it. But it's this inner life. Right. It, it is. And that's where the discipline in our mind comes that we yes. must stop. Oh. We must choose. We must choose to do the word. He knows everything about you. Oh, yes. He knows he created you. He knows you're different because he created you to be different, but he also created you to have the love of God in your heart. So if you don't know Jesus, I want you to just say this right now. Jesus, come into my heart and bring love mm -hmm. to me right now. It's the most important thing that you can do. If you have unforgiveness in your heart right now, just take the step of faith that I'm saying and make the decision. I choose to forgive. I choose to do what the Word of God says, whether I feel like it or not. Can you do that? Yes, you can. Say it right now. I forgive. Denise, this has been tremendous. This has been tremendous. We've run out of time, so stay right with us because I'm going to tell you how to get her book. Well, I know that you are going to want a copy of Denise's book, Unstoppable. There are so many personal experiences that she shares that will encourage you to walk in your gifts 
and help you press through fear and be the unique you that God created you to be. And we're making this book available to you today for a gift of $25 or more, which includes shipping. Call 877-396-9400 and ask for offer 2921 or visit our website at caps.tv. Some of the chapter titles include The Power of Opinions Won't Stop Your Supply. Boy, that sounds good. <laughs> and Victory Comes When You Agree With God. And that is the truth. Well, you will learn that God does have a purpose for your life. And you are vitally important to the body of Christ. With God's help, you can learn to step out of your comfort zone and into new territory and break free of the past. Because it is so important that you know what God has to say about you, I am including my dad's book, God's Creative Power Will Work For You, free with your order. This little book, which has sold millions, will be a great companion book to show you how to agree with what God says about you. It will not only show you how to agree with what God said about you, but it gives you an mm, interactive book, and it gives you something to do. Some of the declarations of faith that I declare out loud daily are, I am the body of Christ, and Satan has no power over me. God has not given me the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. No weapon formed against me will prosper, but whatever I do will prosper. For I am filled with the knowledge of God's will in all things. Well, these two books are a powerful combination. You don't want to miss this opportunity. Offer $29.21 for a gift of $25 or more to this ministry. You will find this book so encouraging Denise has given us some of the key moments in her life where she learned from God and she learned from His Word. Having an experience with God can change everything in your life. Our staff members are waiting for your call, 877-396-9400 or go to caps.tv. Denise, thank you so much for being on the program today. You know, I can hardly wait to hear the praise testimonies of people's lives who were changed. Well, praise the Lord. We look forward to seeing you next week for another Concepts of Faith broadcast. Don't miss it. To order a copy of today's show or any product offered on this program, call 1-877-396-9400 or visit our website at caps.tv where you can order downloads of our MP3 teachings, eBooks, and watch other programs on demand. This broadcast has been sponsored by Caps Ministries and is dedicated to helping you put the Word of God to work in the everyday circumstances of your life. <laughs>